Welcome back to Balotro. Once again, I'm looking for unique and high-powered strategies. Hope I can find some. Right now, well, I've almost got a full house. Almost. That would be nice to have right now. Oh, for, uh, four jacks, even better. Excellent. As long as I can win on the first hand, I'll take it. And who doesn't love a good four of a kind? And I'm starting with a deck that gives me extra money to begin with, because I figure it could pay off real quickly if interest. And I guess I could go for a flush hand. Just take early flushes. Those are pretty easy to get out with. Yeah, how hard could it be? I got three clubs. If I find a flush, I'm out in one. That's four clubs. I could get a straight flush. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but you know, worth a shot. So I know that not all the jokers are available in the demo. I think like less than a third of the total available jokers are in the demo. So the full game is going to be absolutely nuts. But I know there's still some stuff I haven't seen and definitely some stuff I've wanted to build around. A spectral pack. These things I actually have not explored that much because these are the big game changers, huh? I had gold seal to a random card in my hand. I guess I'll do talisman. All right, sure, awesome. Gold seal on the seven. I could also go for flush synergy here. By the star. Maybe it'll be useful later. Juggle more cards in my hand, make me more likely to be holding on to a flush. That could be interesting. We got a bunch of spades and clubs to begin with. I guess I'll try spades first. Got them. Just be sure I am crushing 600, yeah? Yeah, reasonably crushing, about a thousand per flush. Gotta keep that in mind because so shortly the blinds will be going over a thousand. Gonna have to be smart then. I don't know if I'm fully ready to commit to the flush. One in five chance for a negative joker. Well, you gotta try that, even though I'm probably not hitting it. You never know. I've got three hearts and three diamonds. I'll probably go with diamonds, huh? I drew hearts. How does this keep happening? I gotta get 1,200. So that's 13 times like 90. There's no way this hand is getting me to 90. Pretty much need a straight flush. I think it's just gonna be a two-hander. Yeah, sometimes you just don't get there. And, well, I mean, that's what happens when you build around flushes. They're not that strong. But am I lucky? Do I get a negative joker? Let's find out. Mm, the anticipation's building. What's in this shop? I got nothing. I could try face card synergy, plus 20 chips on face cards. I could permanently gain a discard per round. That's fine. I do lose out on a point of interest. But I think it'll be okay. So now a flush with face cards is pretty strong. Maybe I'll try to go for diamonds then. Yeah, even though I have four hearts, I'm gonna try for the big diamond play. If I got a queen, it's possible. I guess hearts would have been a flush, but it's too late for that now. I'm going for broke. Looks like I got a ton of discards on my side. I'm not worried. I got the flush. Would it get there? It's going to be 13 times what? Like 120 or something? It's going to be close. I think if I get a jack of diamonds, I'm set. Or just any higher diamond. Oh, I got it. <laughs> Let's see if I can get that straight flush. Not today. But this should surely be a one-hander with all the buffs here. I mean, damn near a four-card straight flush. If only that happened to matter at this moment. Well, but I'm doing pretty good on money. Ready to pop off. Face cards have a chance to give money when played. Also, everything is 25% off. Let's start with that. And then follow it up with a money maker, huh? Yeah, it should pay itself back, hopefully. Yeah, about time I got a money maker. I'm probably not getting 28,000 unless if I manage to luck into a straight flush. I feel like I should just play the flush right now, though. I don't think I'm going to get the straight flush. I don't think I should try. Instead, ideally, I should play two face cards, maybe get some money. Nope, whiffed on both of them. Hate to see it. And yeah, I would have been far away from that straight flush. I have four spades. Let's see, can I make it five? Come on, spades. There it is. They'll bring it home. Can I get some money, please? Nope. And no. Oh, yes. Okay. I was going to say, at least I got one. And that one payout is worth $3, thanks to the interest. Love it. And here, you know what? Give me a random joker card. Let's see what I get for three bucks. Oh, all flushes and straights can be made with four cards. Speak of the devil. Well, that's interesting. So maybe I'll go for straight flushes today. If I want to be more likely to get them, I'll take an Arcana. Ooh, there's a lot of good options here. I mean, 20 money is nuts. I'm going to go for 20 money here. See if I can find my way into a better Joker. And also maybe get straight flush from the Celestial Pack, possibly. No, I got straight. Those I'll take straight because it can be made with four cards. But I'm generally not going to try to settle for straights. Though it should be noted, straights are better than flushes right now. I could level up flushes. I could also farm more money. Actually, you know what? Here's an idea. I will buy and use it because if I lose the business card, I think I'll actually find 
Better luck with delayed gratification for now. Farming money. I'm pretty sure it can work in my favor. Oh. Scoring hand contains an ace and a straight spawn a tarot slash planet card. I might be losing this delayed gratification. Okay, whatever. Lost a bit of money. This is why I uh, did a lot of it. Because now I could get a ton of tarots and planets and I honestly might buy this. Although it's a shame one's diamonds, one's clubs. I'd prefer they be the same color for a different reason. With that in mind, I'm actually not going to buy the moon. I'm not going to do it. One color supremacy. So I want an ace and a straight. So ace, king, queen, jack of hearts, ideally. And it's too bad, you know, I'm sitting on a bit of a full house here, but I don't care. Bring me the goods. Nope, pretty far off. But I do have a four card flush right now, hearts, but I'm, I'm looking for taros. Damn, I'm getting so many pairs. I wonder if I should just launch the star. I don't know. Come on, give me something good here. Really? Where are my kings and jacks? This is absurd. Come on. Jeez, did they just not exist? What is happening? Okay, I guess I'm playing a flush here. I suppose. I'm just waiting to turn kings and jacks into diamonds. I mean, yeah, there's been kings, but specifically red kings. They're all just down there, huh? Do I just do a crap hand just to dump some stuff? I think I do. Sometimes it sucks. That's life. Come on. Where's the red kings? I'm gonna lose my mind. And the red jacks. It's absurd. Come on, you dick. Draw me something good, please. Good lord. This is genuinely fucked up. Hey, here's a question. Can I get a flush house right now? Here's what I'm thinking, okay? I take these three cards, turn them into diamonds, and then I go flush, right? It's a flush, flush house. I mean, that's my only way out. That was the only way I could survive this turn. How could I not get a damn super position? I threw away the damn black kings because I thought I'd draw the red kings, but both of them are just the bitch bottom of the deck. Dicks. That's fine, this will be better. Sure, convert cards to hearts. I could do that. Uh, maybe see some tarot cards. Anything good here? Uh, convert more cards to the diamonds. We're going red. Black cards make them diamonds. Everything's a diamond. I think I'll save my money. Still not go for a celestial pack. No discards. So I gotta be efficient and pure here. Interesting. A full house. I think I'll actually just launch this full house. Since I'm probably not drawing into an acer straight. Is it even good? No. Ah, uh, that was not worth playing. I am one jack or five away from a flush house. That's exciting. Maybe I'll dig for it. Do I play an eight here? I guess. You know, it ruins the seven of diamonds draw, but at this point, I can't be asked. I got a jack, so I guess that's a flush house. How truly bizarre. Sometimes you just take them when they're offered. Pretty good hand, too. Can't complain that much. I've made my interest. Gotta keep this going. Will, take tarot cards. Anything good here, please? Steel card? I don't care about having a card stay in hand. I will take the money, though. I feel like I was hurting a little. Now an extra consumable slot. Actually, it's pretty nice with tarots, because then I can stockpile more tarots for later. I think for the low price of $3, I'll try for a planet. Maybe I'll get a flush house. Did you get a... F oh, I did, actually. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that. I guess I might as well upgrade my best hand. I'm looking for a very specific Joker card, though. Looking for the one... One, the one, the one. Man, I can't find it. Yeah, I was looking for the one that kind of turns red and black into their own suit. And I mean, there'll be plenty of chances to dig at it. All right, today, though, definitely gonna go for a super position somehow. Discard black cards, as much as it'll let me. Okay, I can get a straight flush right now. Get that super position. Just gotta take this ace and queen for sure. And I'll probably get this king, I might as well. Turn these into hearts. You know what, though? I don't want to lose an ace of diamonds just yet, so here's what I'll do. I'll actually duplicate the Ace of Diamonds first with Death. And I apologize for hiding Death. But I need another Ace of Diamonds. Now this way I don't feel too bad about losing one of the Ace of Diamonds to Aces of Hearts. I might as well make it a five-part Royal Flush, actually. Interesting, even as, as four cards, it's Royal Flush. Here, Flush. This is not also a Royal Flush. This, this is not a Royal Flush. See, I was expecting Straight Flush but not Royal Flush, it's just not what it is. All right, what's the tarot I get? The Fool, I get the Sun, so more stuff into hearts if I want it. I might want something else. Yeah, the Sun is mediocre. I'm digging for another straight flush. In diamonds, I need a, uh... okay, I got King of Diamonds. Where's my Queen of Diamonds? Surely it can happen. Oh, I actually got it. Ooh, hell yeah. If I play the 10, I go out. Yeah, it's more money this way. 
I figured there's no chance I'm getting another ace high straight. Strength? Increasing the ranks of cards isn't bad. I could get more stuff in the ace range. Mmm, multiplier of hand contains a straight. That's not bad. How about I start with Arcanas? I could spawn up to two random tarot cards. Might be better than death here. For now, ooh. I could have the full copy uh, Emperor too. Sounds pretty good. By increasing the rank of selected cards by one, I think I'd go with nines? Yeah, I think 10's a good number. I'll take some tarots. Ooh. Well, multiplier cards are okay. Destroying cards is good. And I might as well just take the Emperor back. Also, if there's something spectacular. Well, I should get it now because I want the Celestial pack. I'll use it. Tarot's are great. Anything good here? Straight flush. Yeah, might as well level that up. And I probably will take Crazy Joker. It's multiplier better than chips. I'll say screw the scary face. It's it's fine, but you know, it's not really unique to the build. What's also crazy is that Crazy Joker gives more multiplier than Droll Joker. They're saying a flush is more likely than a straight, but yet a straight pays out less. Kind of an interesting setup, don't you think? I can destroy up to two selected cards, let's say, down with the threes. Use it. Multiplier cards. Honestly, put it on the aces. I technically don't need to use it yet. They can wait. I can get tarot cards now. Random joker card. That's not happening. Glass card. Okay, I can save that for later. Yeah, I don't know what random joker I'd want. I'll just get rid of it. And then this card. Looking for an eight high, ace high straight. Just need a king of hearts. Close. Wrong suit, though. Hey, got it. All right, this straight flush just keeps happening. This is going to pop off on the first hand, isn't it? This just has all the synergies. Yeah, more multipliers. No, not not fully. I will just double my money right now. There is no downside to using it at this moment. And now, I doubt I'll make it. Ooh, but I'm kind of close. I'll go ace king, ace high flush. And get rid of this eight. Not super attractive. Yeah, that sort of hand isn't going to get me far. You can almost play a flush house. I'm almost tempted to just try to get a queen or 10. Yeah, queen or 10 of any suit gets me a flush house. I might need it. I don't know what I'm drawing into, though. I may need to get lucky. Let's see. I'd see a pretty stinky hand. Okay, got my flush house. Let's make it a pure flush house. Yeah, so pure. I need to get more aces into reds, huh? That'll come when it comes. Okay, a uh, chance to add an effect to a random joker. Think I'll get it? Holy shit, I got it! This is plus 10 multipliers, and now it's a plus 20. That's pretty good, actually. Okay, any more tarots to my benefit? Two random tarots, clubs, no. Diamonds, maybe? I kind of like diamonds, actually. I'm not I'm not going to hit this twice in a row. This is the first time I ever hit it. I had a big dry spell, so I think that I'll just go for the diamonds. I mean, all I care about is the ace. Two random tarot cards could be good, too. I think hitting that ace is mighty nice. Increasing a chance for a flush house. Well, speaking of flush house, maybe I'll get it or a straight flush. Either or is fine. All right, come on. I need the joker. I need the, the right joker. Permanently gains plus 10 chips every time a straight is played. A straight is played. So that means I would have to downgrade my hand from a straight flush or a flush house. Like that a bit less. Or, or does this have shitty wording too? For the record, if you take a word and change it to a specific color, in roguelike, that's basically like trademarking it. Uh, that's basically communicating there's only one thing this can be, and that's kind of a standard among roguelikes. It's kind of a standard among UI and games in general. So I'm going to choose to believe that it refers to the straight being the best possible hand, therefore having to downgrade it. Uh, so I'm going to just I'm gonna do the flush house and hold on to the rest of my money. Nice level up. How's the wheel for me? Hmm, interesting. Come on, ace and king of diamonds, please. Nope, that's all right. I can be patient. Surely, I guess I could just take a flush house. Flush four of a kind is not a thing. Isn't this hand like disgustingly good anyway? I don't know, but it's crazy hard to get a hand with an ace and a straight. It's actually crazy how much worse this card is than the uh, eight balls one. I almost wanted to wonder if the eight balls one should have like three eights required to get a tarot card. Because I think this one, it's balanced-ish. The eight ball one is just very strong. Three card slots available in the shop. That sounds very nice. Make it more likely for me to get something good, good, good. Could take the sun for more hearts. Sure. Probably should have opened this arcana pack first. Money, please? No. Do I want random planet cards? Probably not. I mean, I, I could make it work. Hold on. Let me at least start with this here. Take these high cards, make them hearts. It's not a bad time for it. I could get another ace of hearts right now. 
It's probably better than planet cards. I don't have a strong planet synergy. I do have a like for Ace of Hearts. Man, there's one card that's just so good for me. Yeah, I'll take the Celestial Pack. I don't care if I'm burning through money. Ooh, straight flush or flush house, huh? Flush house has bigger numbers. I guess I take it. With that in mind... Man, that's a lot of diamonds. I got so many ready cards, it's crazy. I don't need both these aces of hearts. Come on, do me a solid here. Okay, I got the ace, king of diamonds. That's all I'm looking for, king of diamonds. I will hunt for it. Okay, another ace of diamonds. Um, do I wanna just flush house it? I'm gonna dig a little bit more, just in case. Have the flush house as a backup, and what a good backup it is. Oh, wrong king. Worth a shot. How good is this damn hand now? It's cracked. It's only 18,000 though. I mean, it's a little sketch. This this build's gonna definitely need some tinkering. I need more taros or planets or something. Come on, give me some money here. Big money booster. Oh, plus $10 is not bad. Diamonds, I have only one that I really care about the conversion of it. I don't even care, it's a seven. No, I'll take the money. It was worth it. Yeah, sometimes I get flush house here. Nope, not this time. Mmm, all options I ignore. I'll take a full house because that's... Pretty easy to play, not like it really matters. 21,000, which is on the high end. Flush house with king sitting there, potentially. Ooh, a queen of diamonds away from getting it. Come on, queen of diamonds. Okay, I definitely got a flush house now. Do I just play it? I'll discard three cards, see if I get queen of diamonds. I got another ace of hearts. I don't need all of them, right? Queen of diamonds, I got a good backup, didn't happen. I guess I actually could have kept the Ace of Hearts, so I wouldn't have had to play this Ace of Diamonds. I don't know why I discarded it. I guess I just wasn't thinking straight. I was thinking Flush House. Yeah, who thinks straights in these days? I mean, that's powerful enough. And clearly, I'm not getting the Queen of Diamonds anyway. I guess I'll take a normal flush, I guess. It's not sexy. It's it's okay. Oh, it wins. Come on, please give me the good Joker. I've been hunting for it. That's not it. All right, tarot cards, anything good here? Oh, cards into hearts? Or increase the rank. I mean, a king of hearts sounds nice. Look at this, though. Look at my ace, king, queen, jack of hearts. Four aces, two kings and queens, one jack. I'm low on jack of hearts. For diamonds, I've only got one king, three jacks. So I almost wonder if I just want to instead get another king of diamonds, and then another queen and jack of diamonds. I was up to two selected cards. Just getting another king of diamonds seems really nice for consistency and because I don't need a king of hearts as much. I think that works actually really well. All right, anything good in the celestial pack? Flush house. I did play a flush though, so I don't mind that upgrade. Show me a good joker. Oh, triggered card on the final hand two times when play. Holographic. Plus 10 multiplier is nice. I mean, final card's good with the whole glass card thing. I guess I take it for that synergy. Don't know what I lose. Superposition, because it hasn't paid out in ever. Yeah, screw superposition. I can't seem to get a damn thing with it. It's, you know, almost at the end of the game too, so I doubt that's gonna change. All face cards are de debuffed, lovely. Well, I don't care, I'm just looking for any banger card. Uh, no flush house here, actually. These are diamonds. Might just get rid of the queens of diamonds, actually. Yeah, I don't think I want them. Okay, got a flush house now, yay. Well, I mean, what does the hand look like now? I think I've got more multipliers at least. 20,000, that's not bad. Not great either. Okay, I could get a flush house in diamonds with another 10 of diamonds. There it is. I've also got it with aces. But I think I'd rather play three tens. And yeah, I'm not farming anymore. There's nothing to farm. So I gotta set myself up for the final boss as well as possible now. Got a bit of a nest egg. Maybe I'll find that one joker. You know, I've been digging for it forever. All right, anything good here? Another flush house level up? I'll actually take it. Before I take it, how about I open the arcana? If I have to double my money, it might be good to do it now. Um, I think I'll just do two random taros, so I'll just buff the aces. Anything good here? Oh, the Wheel of Fortune. Oh, boy. Think I'll get it? One out of five chance. Nope. Fair enough. It's fine. I can take series. One last dig for the Joker. Oh, I'll plant cards in the shop for free. A little late for that. I don't even think I'm playing straight flushes anymore. Yeah, I'm not. Oh, I could get another series. That's just straight up better than taking the Celestial Pack, yeah? Well, unless if I want another glass card, that's probably even better. So in that case, I'll just buy the Fool. And I'll set up a banger or hand, I guess. But I couldn't find the Joker. I think I stand a good chance against this guy, but I gotta set up a banger hand. I think I will... Yeah, I, I can't have my cards be debuffed when I have Dusk. So, sell this guy. He's probably the weakest. 
having plus two cards in my hand is also nice just so I can full discard and hold a lot. And this plus 15, I think, will be pretty irrelevant by the end of it. Basically, I'm trying to set up a banger flush house with stuff like aces and kings or whatevers. So I'll still play a flush in the meantime. I think I'm just going to play three kind of crummy hands and then discard to get the banger hand and see what kind of numbers it comes out to. Yeah, I'm not expecting much out of these first three. More flushes to get rid of. Still 4,000, it's something. And it's just crazy how much weaker everything is in comparison to a flush house. This is the last hand I got before the big one. I still have four discards. Now we search. Okay, got a bunch of aces of hearts. Unfortunately, they don't match with the kings of diamonds. And this ace of diamonds, I assume, is irrelevant. I just need one king of hearts. Two would be even better. I feel like I actually have to discard this ace of diamonds, even though it has plus multiplier. Shoot. Am I going to be greedy? Well, let's see. I need a king of hearts, yeah? So that means I lose a king of diamonds. Yeah, otherwise it just doesn't work. Okay, I got my king of hearts. So now I do have a flush house, but if I want to get the ace of diamonds here involved, it still may be possible. I just need another king of hearts. And also I have another ace of hearts I can dig for. Two bangers still in the deck. This is why the big hand size is helpful. Um, Actually, I got everything I wanted. So I got these five pieces, but... Let's make sure we get the orders right. So the regular multiplier should be first. Then I could take this ace, turn it into a glass card, and then use the fool to get another glass card maker right here. And then a card that will stay in hand will just be steel. So uh, I'll just pick this ace. Hopefully it applies early. Anyway, this is the best hand I can do. And this order is fine. I double triple checked. Let's see what kind of numbers it comes out to. So, watch that red multiplier. It's gonna scale pretty quickly with all these times twos, huh? Get a nice banger, get another banger. Pretty big banging stuff here. And then just a little ticky-tacky stuff at the end for a nice 364,000. Pretty good, even though I didn't even get the Joker. <laughs> it's funny, I I've done 10 times better, but you know, it's a pretty good hand and a pretty unique run. So I hope you guys all enjoyed watching. Definitely gonna try to get more crazy runs in the future, so stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next video. Have a wonderful day and peace.